Andy Wardle, looking forward to tonight's show. Sunglasses on, beers, chilling in my fridge in my little camper van in Northumberland. Wild camp last night. Great weekend. This show is definitely the highlight. Cheers. Well, thanking you very much. Yep. Back out. Yet again. Friday night. Look at it. Oh, this is what dreams are made of. Look at this weather. Beautiful. Beautiful. We're in the College Valley. Um, I'm going to go along there. I was going to be a bike packing uh, trip. Up to, I was going to cycle up to um, the Hen Hall because I've got a new bivy tent I want to try out. Brand new tent, not even on the market. Um, but there is a problem, right? As you can see, there's no bike. Forgot the bike. Here's here's the forgotten bike here. That's that's the proof that I forgot it. So we'll be scrapping that and we're gonna have to walk. So I'm looking at this hill here with the trees on. And then the trees stop. That's sink side, I think. That's great heifer. And we're gonna go so we'll go to sink side up there. And we'll try this thing out. I'm sure it's like designed for the um it's designed for like the forest. It's supposed to be like a um a bivy stroke tent. It uses trekking poles. Well I'll show you it anyway. We'll see. But yeah, this is where we're going. That's where we are. That's the little heather, that's great heather camping on there. Sink side. I actually camped on there as well, but I just thought, you know, because I forgot the bike, I was going to go right up here. Right up here to the hen hill. Fancy forgetting the bike. So I've rearranged my bag. I've rearranged everything and uh, yeah, I'm ready to go. <laughs> Hi. So this road, if you know this road, you'll know what I'm on about. The, the never ending road to nowhere. In the distance, Braden Crags, there's uh, loads of, well, up there and past that as well, there's aircraft wreckage from the war days. Things that weren't, um, they weren't on active service, most of them. They've gone, one of them that's up on Braden was going to the scrapyard. I think it's in Scotland, and it's bloody flying too low in cloud. Crashed at the top of there. Bit of a nightmare. I read about that, did a video of that, I went to the wreckage. Two videos, actually. I went to visit the wreckage the first time. Second time was just too wild, too cold. Ah, oh, this road. Oh, I should have brought my bike. Got halfway up the road, I left the house. I've done about, I was near Morpeth, and I thought, oh my god, <laughs> what, I was going to go in the garage and get it, <laughs> oh well, next time, next time I'll do a bike hike, bike packing trip, maybe, if I can be bothered, yeah, nice night though, can't complain about the weather, what am I going to do? <laughs> I'll find something to complain about. Oh yes, that water's too noisy. That's far too noisy. This is the Tours, west of Tours. I couldn't, I can't remember the name of that. I've camped there before. Over the other side of that west is obviously the Easter Tours. Oh, my. Oh, my. It's good here, like great heather up there. Got far to go now, just up around this corner. I 
I've just got to go around the bend. Hey, <laughs> did that a long time ago. Night run. Um, yeah, up and around. Up and around, and then on the back of it. Up over there. So yeah, getting there. Not be long. It is late. It's ten to seven at night. See, this is the joy of the light nights. Had a busy day today. God. I was down at um, I was down at Teesside for eight o'clock this morning. So from Blythe, through all the traffic, down to Teesside for eight o'clock. Then I had to go to, across to Darlington for nine o'clock, which was late. And then I had to go to Barnard Castle for ten o'clock, and then I had to get to Catrick for twelve. So. The traffic was mad, but I made it, I got there, and then obviously all the way back. It took us an hour and 40 minutes to get home. Whew. So it's been a busy day, a busy week. Weeks flown by, I can't believe it's a week since I had uh, a Broadstruther camp. Or Broadstruther, <laughs> if not Broadstruther, what was it? So I'm starting going up now. Up, up, up. Feeling it. Feel it in my fingers. And I can feel it in my toes. Sick. And the sun's in as well, so it's a little bit chilly. It's supposed to be ice tonight. Minus three forecast. <laughs> When I was coming up, they were gritting the roads. But yeah, it's not far to go now. Like, just go to the top of this hill here, up a little bit more, and then you hang a right in. So I end up up there somewhere. If I can remember where the path is, I'll find it. I always do. Oh, here I am, king of the castle. Look at this views. Braden Crags, the shill. A little pointy one there. I don't, I don't know what these ones are. Sun's going down. This is the top, is it? Um, an old Bronze Age Roman fort. Another one. Millions of these out here. You can see why. Vantage point and all that. This is the remains of, anyway. So. Oh, like, that last bit was steep. The path was terrible. It was like, um, like all cut down vegetation, so I had to stomp over that. But I made it, I'm up, and I think, I think I'm gonna pitch here. This is like the best of a bad bunch, it's not very flat. I remember I camped here before, I pitched over there, it seemed to be a lot flatter, but it, it looks overgrown now, I don't know. There's pitches up here as well, but it's right in the wind. Uh, the breeze has come up a bit, but that's all right. It's supposed to drop, like overnight, it's meant to drop down the breeze, so keep you, keep you everything crossed. So yeah, I'm gonna get get set up and then we'll have a look at this shelter there. Whew! Oh, just give me breath. Oh, look. For the aurora tonight, it's forecast, but there's a big mood. I'll spoil it. Ah, oh, you never know, it might, it might not. Oh, these little birds flying about. Evening, evening, evening. <laughs> Funny little things. Nice. Right. That's Scotland over there. Past the shill. Lovely sunset going down there. Don't know if it's too hazy to put the camera out. Anyway, I've got to set up. <laughs> Wait, at least see this. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I've done it right. I think I have. One wind, right? I've designed this, what they call a bivy tent. And this is it. And I think, right, the ground isn't very even here, so that is not helping. It's designed for flat ground. And also, in the uh, forest, in the trees, you know, like woodland camps or whatever. But it's up. 
And when this door here, this door comes out here. If you've got another pole or a, a stick, you can have the door open like a canopy. I've just rolled it all back there just to show you inside. It's quite big, like it's big enough for one person plus all the gear. Plenty wide. It's just my bloody the lay of this land is really lumpy. Pegs haven't gone in very well either. But you use two trekking poles, one either end, like that. Let's go in these little metal rings. On the outside, strangely. I mean, I feel it's all right, you know. There's plenty of ventilation. There's a, there's a vent at the back here, like a mesh vent. It's definitely a summer thing. I'm out tonight in minus three in it, so I'm suffering for your entertainment again. Yet again, I'm suffering. I will be. There's a, there's a vent up here, look. Oh, that's plenty of ventilation there. Loads. I don't, I shouldn't get any condensation. It's got a little stick thing that you, oh, you know the ones, you know, you get them on a the tent. So, that's it, look, see, it's the vent. They don't work then, do they? I'll do it in a minute. But yeah. Feels, it feels all right, you know. I could do with being a bit tighter. I can't even put pegs in the ground. It's just all rocks. It's like, it's a like grass growing over these rocks, isn't it? So there we go, first look at this. One wind bivy tent. So I'm basically helping them to develop this. So it's not available yet. My thoughts would be, Need another, ooh, another guide point on here to pull that out, to pull that down to the floor. So a guide point on there. Um, maybe there's one on the front here. Just keep it down. I don't know. I don't probably don't need one there. So yeah. I wouldn't leg it in strong winds, put it that way. This is quite low profile though. And uh, a stealthy colour, isn't it? It's like one of them ones that you can't really see from far away. So it's not bad. We'll see how we get on eh? <laughs> Might not survive this one. Let's see. Right, I'm gonna get on me. I'll be rubbish in and crack a beer because it's 10 to 8, 10 to 8 at night. I love these late nights. I should have maybe come about an hour earlier though. Right, come on, come on, get on with it. Settled. Got army stuff together. I'm not, a, I'm not on a great pitch. Brew dog. Time for a beer. Oh, nice. Cheers. On the nose, I'm getting rock rocks. That might be the rocks here. Like oh, the taste. You know when you get you know when you get soap in your hands. And it's gone off. It's a bit like gone off soap. Actually tastes like crayon. Blue crayon as well, not the orange one. Anyway, a little bit of a serious note. You see the hat I'm wearing now, right? The great Tommy Sleepout. I did a video a while back where it was the, um, the Great North Aircraft Museum. Or the Great North Museum. The one in Sunderland, anyway. Um, and we're trying to raise a little bit of money for the homeless veterans, which is a, it's a tragic case. Like, you know, there's, there's politics behind it and all the rest of it. I'm not getting involved with all that. But just, just to make everybody aware, there will be a link in this description 
And if you want to give 50 pence, a pound, 100 pound, it's entirely up to you. If you don't want to give anything, that's fine as well. I mean, I know, do you know, the thing is, there's loads of, um, there's loads of charities now, and everybody's always asking, like, oh, can you put your hand in your pocket, dig deep, and times are hard, like, so totally understand, like, if nobody can put in. Ooh. It's a bit like, a bit like doggy's lipstick. Ooh, like that. Yeah, so anyway, that's that. And another, um, uh, another, another cause, there's my friend Emma, right? She's on, uh, YouTube's M's Adventures. I'll put, I'll put her channel link in. And she's doing, um, the Glen Afric Way. She's doing that walk. I think it's about 50, 47, 50 miles. I've seen her today in Wooler. Hi. I can't escape her. <laughs> Everywhere I go, she's there. But, uh, um, she's doing that walk for the, the Northumberland, I think it's a Northumberland Mountain Rescue. I'll have to double check, like, but something like that, you know what I mean? It's like the, the Mountain Rescue for around here, for this area. And she's raising money. I think she's raised about 600 odd quid so far, like. But she's starting that walk on Wednesday, so I'll put a link in for that one as well. And again, you don't need to put in. I'm not begging. I'm not saying you will donate you. Nah, you don't need to. You don't need to if you don't want to. But it's there. It's there for people who fancy it, you know. So you've got the the great Tommy sleep out and you've got M's Adventures doing the Glen Afric Way and she has raised quite a bit of money so far this is, I think it's a, uh, a just given page Six over 600 odd quid when I last looked so anyway yeah so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook my tea I've got tonight oh, tonight Matthew we've got chow mein chicken chow mein very nice. So I'm gonna um, cook that. I've got to work out how to do it. I think you do the noodles in water first, and then you fry the rest. I've got me um, my fire maple cook set. That's back. No ration packs tonight. I've decided to do a bit of cooking. Wind has gone. It's a lovely still night. Oh, I love it when there's no wind. It just makes everything so much better. It's so so calm and peaceful. Only problem is I haven't got much of a view, like. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but yeah, I think, you know, this was only like the flattest bit I could find. So I don't mind because all I've got to do is just stand up and have a look around. That's still going down over there. But yeah, nice. Mr. Moon there. Mr. Moon. Alfie. Old Alfie. Here I am in my bivy. One wind bivy. Could have found a better pitch, like. But yeah, I've got this. This pot here. That's for boiling the noodle water. And this fire maker one. It's the alcohol stove. I think that's available now. I'll have to try and find a link. Links for everything will be in the description, like. Apart from this bivy tent. Because I don't think this is, uh I don't think it's out yet. So I've got to, I've basically got to try and find fault with it. I already have, like, I don't know, with the, uh, the pull-out points, the tie-out points. But, to be fair, this is not the greatest pitch in the world. I'll put the, I'll put the doors down later. It's got the mesh, it's got the mesh net in, inside here. It's got a nice mesh for the mozzies. And there's a door that comes down. I don't think there's a uh, vestibule area. But, yeah, it's all right, I mean, it is what it is. Oh. Right, music on, beer, cooking. Bring you back when I'm cooking. Got a right kitchen going on here. Got that going with the noodles. This is on for the uh, chicken, the chicken. Oh, turned it the wrong way. I've knocked it off. Turn it back on. Uh, yeah. So we've got the noodles. The chicken will cook in there. Got 
mushrooms and onions chopped up in there. Did that last night. Just wait for that to heat up. Just guess what I forgot. The fry later. Bogger. Ah, oh, never mind. It's all going on here, isn't it? Eh? It's all going on here. <laughs> Why do I talk like that? <laughs> this one's set now anyway. Right, uh, this is what you sprinkle on top, spring onions apparently. I don't know. Right, let's get this back on. Right, here we go. Got the uh, the mushrooms and the onions and the chicken in there. Bubbling away. Smells nice. Noodles. Oh, just resting. So what you do is, you, when they've cooked, you throw the noodles in, mix it all together and then you throw the sauce in. So yeah, I'm just sitting here chilling out. Uh, what we've got, what beer we've got next is, at least a bit of faith. Hmm. You know what George Michael said? He said, Club Tropicana drinks are free. Right. Oh, I just keep getting little chills. But I'm not going to complain. I've got the Quasar. This is the uh, the, three, the four season, claimed four season down bag. Not the not, uh, not three season one this week. And the Flex Tail R5 mat. Which feels warm. Warm to the touch. It's weird that. It's weird how that feels warm to the touch. But it's absolutely freezing. So yeah. Just waiting for that to cook. A couple more beers. I've got Transient, Heathen, and Faith in Futures. Had a couple of short um, Hazy Janes, didn't I? Which I've drunk. That's it. I've got some cheese. A little bit of cheese, man. Like a little bit of cheese. Nice. Right, so that's it, really. No unusual. Usual crack. You know, usual crack. Hey, I tell you what. Eleven thousand subs now. That's amazing. Each and every one of you subs is legendary. Oh yes, oh yes. I'm not gonna let it go to my head though. I mean, uh, I have bought the Rolls Royce, and uh, if you want to, if you want to watch this video, you're gonna have to like come round and give us a back massage. Simple as that. But it's not gonna go to my head. I'm not famous yet. Oh, right. I come back when this is getting there. Here we go. Well, I've got the uh, noodles in and the chow mein sauce and I must say I've had a little try and it's very nice I'm just gonna let it uh, just gonna let it cook out for a bit let it simmer away and then we'll get stuck in oh we'll get stuck in nice ready we're going it's ready it is ready, like, I've let that sort of sit and uh, simmer for about 15 minutes or so. So we're going to have a bit. Oh, no we're not. Make sure the chicken's cooked. Ah, oh, sorry. Mmm. Very good, very nice. Oh, man. Warm us up. Ah. Absolutely freezing cold. <laughs> Baltic. A few stars out. Can't see now. Like moon up there. Moon. Moon. So yeah, we're gonna have uh, faith in the futures. This one tastes like. Oh man, you know the hairs on the back of your hand. 
<laughs> you know when you burn them? You know when you burn the hairs on the back of your hand? That's what that tastes like. Ugh, nasty. A northern monk are never ever going to speak to me again, are they? Uh, we, they never spoke to us in the first place, so it doesn't really matter. Anyway. Mmm. Spot on that, like. Right, I'm going to polish that off. And uh, I'll come back when we sort it out. It is quite cosy in here. Look, this is really lofted up. Look how that's lofted. That's good. That was packed in my bag, dead tight. It's come up well. Nice one. Oh, so cold. Oh, tell you, that is very chilly. Take that off. It's very chilly tonight. Um, I don't think it's minus degrees, but I don't think we're used to the cold again. So it's a nice clear night. Skies are clear, moon's out, stars are out. So yeah, that drops the temperature when a cloud when you've got no cloud cover that drops your temperature. Alright, cheers. Faith in the futures actually tastes like the past, which is weird. Um I'm getting the hint of Vernon Kay's hairstyle. Oh, that was weird, that like. Vernon Kay's hairstyle. From his T4 days. Anyway, oh, I'm all wrapped up here. So I'm in my little, in my shelter. I might do, um, I might do a little separate setup video of this just to see if it's any better when it's on uh, a flat level surface because to be fair this this ground is terrible it's really bad it's like all the rocks when you see the rocks lying about and all the grasses and the moss have overgrown on it that's literally what i'm lying on so it's it's not like i'm lying on flat grass so it may be better on flat grass i mean it's all right it's giving us shelter i'm not getting uh I'm not getting blown around. Do you know what, right? It's developed, it's got a little bit of condensation on. You've got this keep a wide open door here. And it's feeling a little bit damp. And that's due to the temperature change because it was dead sunny, wasn't it, coming up? But now it's really chilly. Condensation. <laughs> it's, uh, I'm not getting involved. I'm not going to get involved in that again. But yeah. So what I'm going to do is. I'm going to put the um, the camera out facing north and we'll do a uh, star star lapse, night lapse, whatever they call it. Not the, not the star trail, I'm going to do the star lapse, so I'm just going to film the stars. So it might not be in, right, because the moon, the moon, it's bright, you know, and it, it sort of kills it, which is a shame because it's been Aurora uh, red alerts tonight. <coughs> but if the moon's there, you won't get the Aurora. And that's the, that's the problem. It's a bit hit and miss. Oh, I don't know, you might, you might pick it up, you might not, I don't know. I could just be waffling on like. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say good night. I'm going to say good night and good health. That went. I went down the wrong way. Oh. Let's give us hiccups. Oh, that went down the wrong way, that. Oh, that was horrible. Oh, that's what happens when you lie on your side drinking beer. Oh, I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm too accident prone. I shouldn't be allowed out, really. Right. So, if there's any, um... Oh, God. That food was lovely, by the way. 
I'm in a bad way. Send help, I'm in a bad way. Oh my God. What did they tell you to do? Get a drink, get a drink. Nah, didn't really help. Right, so we'll see you in the morning, right? Don't forget if the if the um, if this bit from what you see now just goes straight to the morning, that means the night lapse didn't work out very well because of the moon spoiling it. But we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Boosh. Oh God, I can't believe that. morning campers fans of camping here we are battery might die here I haven't looked at that night lap so it might not be in it might be I don't know no aurora like something like this is uh thought about this after a night a comfortable night to be fair on that, that flex tail mat was lovely, lovely and comfy. Yeah, it's all right. I mean, it's all seam sealed. Look, see, condensation. Condensation, all that venting and it's condensation. Cold, cold air comes in after there's been warm air. Droplets. When I'm inside, breathing warm air, Onto the cold air, droplets. Uh, it was alright. It's definitely just a little backpacking thing though. Lightweight backpacking tent, aye. Great. Bike packing. <laughs> Let's not mention a bike. But yeah. So far, it's out. There's no vestibule, you know. So if it's raining, you're going to have to struggle to uh, cook. And you'll have to put all your gear inside, like stuff it down the back. And get all that in. I just didn't see the need when there's no rain. But yeah. Oh, it's alright. I'll use it again. I'll use it again, try and get a flatter pitch this time. Because it's sagging a bit. I wouldn't take it out in wild wind. I mean, if you get caught out, oh, well, that's so hard lines, isn't it? Yeah, see, look, you can tie it to a tree. You could, you could fasten it to a tree with another guy lane. Came with extra guy lane. I put the two on the front there, one on the back. Uh, hey, anyway, enough of that. Look at this. This is what we came for. It is literally all about the views. You can see for miles here. There's hill forts everywhere. Must have been great in them days, like, well, not really great. They were all killing each other with axes, weren't they? But you know, to all these buildings, I don't know, right, if this was built out of the original fort. You know what I mean? I don't know which is the original and what's been built afterwards. Because the forts used to go round in a circle. But they'll have had um, rooms and chambers on there, so this might be real, it might be original. Hard to tell. Worth looking into. Sinkside Hill, check it out. Do some research. Saves me doing it. Ugh, I can't be bothered. I can't be bothered doing research. Why have I got to research? I'm going to have a cup of tea. And then my way down, my escape route is there's a path there. Which yesterday. I came straight up the bloody front of it there. But actually, to be fair, all you gotta do is get over them twigs and trees. There's a path through them. I came right through the middle of them, and there's a path there to the side of them. <laughs> and it's just then it's just down, down. You come out that side there, and then walk down back to the valley, back to the van. Don't think I'm doing a van video this week. 
I'm going to post that uh, power bank review on. Uh, Cause it's more aimed at the van drivers, isn't it? The van people. There's cows on the field, there are little dots over there. Tiny little dots on that hill. Alright, so kettle on, stop the waffling. And uh, yeah, we just get slow packing away. There's no rush. Just come back to uh, show you. You can see how big it is. It's a rectangle wide mat. It's not a great deal of space in it. Like I say, lightweight backpacking. Oh, nice dry night. Let's just throw that back. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the size of it. It's lovely and comfortable, that mat, mate. Lovely. It was warm as well. No foil mat. And it got down, there's frost. There is frost, look. There's frosticles. And that mat was brilliant. Kept us nice and warm. It's just a pity it's so big. When it packs away now. Well, it's not really that big. I just prefer the smaller one. But I think I might start using that again. Here we go. The kettle is boiled. Nice cup of tea. Lovely. If I might, we'll even do a cup with a lid. It's like a Tommy Tippy cup. <laughs> Good for me because I knocked it out, knocked it over twice. Oh, this is me for you. Lovely. Just sitting on a cup of tea, like morning brew with a view. Without a view, there is no view. And I've opened this tent up, just put the, uh, the front a bit over, just slung it over the back, try and dry it off a bit. I was just looking around, right? Everything here is free, everything was free. Jacket, tent, sleeping bag, mat, stove, that big stove I cooked my tea on last night. <laughs> I paid for the trousers, Fjall Raven, Fjall Raven Vida Pro, good pansies, I've had these about five years, still going strong. Radio free, pillow in there free, yeah, honestly, what am I like, eh? What am I like? I'm a shill. Uh, you know. Do you know if one person benefits from any of this, then my job's done. Because I'm no, so I'm still using it after all this time. Let's forget about the tent for now. But everything else, I'm using it all this time. This jacket, still wearing it in the cold. Warmest toast. Aye. If it's good, I'll use it. If it's rubbish, I'll say so. Right, enough of this prevaricating, I'm going to get on with it. Had the radio on there, it was nice. Just in the background. There we go. Not the greatest pitch like. But it was alright, I slept alright. That's the tent there, look. That's the shelter, whatever the hell it is. So, for a, uh, a one-man bike packing trip, without the bike. That's not bad, it's light as a feather. It just sits on sits on top of the bag, like in between the top lid. Right. So seam sealed, guy lanes, you get pegs, you get a you get some of these pegs with it. You know the ones. Yeah, come on. M ones. Y pegs. I think you get about six of them. Maybe, maybe eight actually. In the little bag there. I forgot to put them in. But yeah, that's it. I'm all set. Just gonna stick everything on the bag, poles and that. So if you use trekking poles, you know. But that was my spot. So it's all Roman Bronze Age burial tomb fort from about. I'd say, looking at it. This is from about the 1950s. Easily. I mean, that's a long battery run out, right? That's it. I'm going. Okay. We'll see you on the next one.